Don't buy Stellar Crown right now if you're thinking about the long term. What's up, little pups? Stellar Crown is, of course, not the talk because the per the release of the Stellar Crown set is going to be on September 13th, and apparently people have been opening up this set all the way since the 1st of September. Now, I've expressed my distaste for Stellar Crown as a set compared to the other sets that we've had. Again, Paradox Ray 14 SIRs, Temporal Forces with 10 SIRs, Twilight Masquerade with, the with 11 SIRs, and we have a Stellar Crown with only six Special Illustration Rares. Now, of course, that doesn't mean that the set is trash. This, I actually really like the Terrapagos. I find some cards to be very endearing to me because they're very nostalgic, like the Dash Bun. Uh, that uh, is very reminiscent of the Bliss EX Prime. No, the Blissey Prime. <laughs> so don't be discouraged to not buy this set. Obviously, uh, this set has its charm, of course, of course. But if you're thinking about it in the long term, like, let's say, for example, investments, like, you think this set could be the one to buy? Let me tell you right now, you're better off buying Temporal Forces or Paradox Rift. So there's a lot of talk right now that Stellar Crown is actually sold out in the Pokemon Center US and the Pokemon Center UK. Talk about Pokemon trying to artificially pump up their own set. Guys, let me just tell you that if you find a booster box of Stellar Crown uh, anywhere around $130 or more, please do not do the mistake of buying it. Unless this set gets short printed, there is no way this set is going to compete with the other sets in terms of like overpowering them with a higher price. This set, like I said, has six special illustration rares, has an average amount of illustration rares, and the chase card is Terra Pagos, which isn't really uh, one of the most fan favorite Pokemon you can imagine. Now, this set, Stellar Crown, does have the Bulbasaur and the Squirtle illustration rares, but you know what else? Had a, has a bubble sword and squirtle illustration rare 151 we've already been having these illustration rares there's a little blastoise and a venusaur but a regular ex and the reprints of 151 so stellar crown once again beautiful cards i agree beautiful cards i'm going to open this set myself but as a long-term outlook Unless this set is short printed, you're better off buying something like Temporal Forces, which is affordable, or Paradox Rift has way more density to the sets. Now, of course, if you can get Solar Crown for what you usually get a booster box around uh, release date, uh, go for it for sure. I uh, definitely, you know. No, not not bad, but in terms of compar comparing Stellar Crown with the other sets that we've had that people even didn't care about, Stellar Crown is really nothing special at all. And I know a lot of channels are going to glaze Stellar Crown because Twilight Masquerade hyped up everything like it, it, it blew up to $100 and almost $40 a booster box. Well, the Greninja, the EX is like literally a modern Charizard. It, it literally, if you lived around the XY era, it, you would have felt the Charizard presence in that Greninja. You can literally combine Shrouded Fable and Stellar Crown together, and you would have a set that is comparable to Twilight Masquerade. Just think about that. And of course, Surging Sparks is going to come right after Stellar Crown. Surging Sparks, a set with a Larios, Larios team up, uh, not really, but separate, and a Pikachu Chase. Pikachu Chase, let me say this again, Pikachu Chase card. Stellar Crown is going to, uh, honestly, it's either Stellar Crown or Shrouded Fable are going to be the most forgettable or the most forgotten sets. Unless you're playing competitively, because Stellar Crown, uh, at first I kind of underestimated it in terms of competitive, but now I see the actual power some cards have, like the Terrapagos. It literally is the reincarnation of Mega Rayquaza all the way from Pokemon X and Y. And we're gonna have so many other sets that are gonna completely overshadow Stellar Crown, Shroud of Fable, heck, even Twilight Masquerade, and I'm a huge fan of Twilight Masquerade. And if you look around, there are still places where you can find Stellar Crown for very, very uh, affordable prices. One place I recommend is Flipside Gaming. Uh, I'll put the link in the description, I guess. But yeah, definitely, definitely do your best to at least look for good prices on Solar Crown. Don't be paying anything crazy because even though the $160 price tag was sold out on Pokemon Center, it's really weird. It's really weird, actually. 
Uh, you really don't have to FOMO into Stellar Crown. You can uh, Stellar Crown will drop. I don't even believe the Terrapagos will hold up a hundred dollars in in the long term. So as much of a hater as I seem to be of Stellar Crown, I again am going to open this set. I will enjoy opening this set. Heck, I could even start playing the game, which I haven't played in like eight years, because of this set. But I won't act like this set is something amazing. It is mid compared to all the other Scarlet Violet sets, except of Sin and Flames. And even if Sin and Flames had the Charizard, which I'm not going to just say, oh, Charizard's amazing. Uh, Charizard I, it was one of my favorite Pokemon. But yeah, of Sin and Flames. It, it literally the same the same the same uh, level as Stellar Crown. Let's just ignore the Charizard. Anyways, what do you guys think about all I said this video? I hope your feelings didn't get too hurt, and uh, I hope you can see you and understand what I'm saying. Uh, I know that uh, there's there's a uh, there's a lot of videos hyping up Stellar Crown, which is kind of like why I wanted to make this video because I know some of you like might go crazy buying Stellar Crown for really marked up prices because you heard that it got sold out in Pokemon Center. Just don't make that mistake. Uh, Stellar Crown is really not that great of a set, and it should be very very affordable in I don't know like a month or so. And there's going to be a ton of other sets. So anyways, little pups, I hope, uh, hope you learned something here in this video. And we'll catch you on the next news. Unless this set gets short printed to oblivion. No. Unless this short get... Unless this...